Hey guys, it's Eve and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are in Venice right now. We got here at about 11 o'clock this morning, so we had to get up at 4 a.m. We got about a 6 a.m. flight. And yeah, we've just checked into our hotel room and we're about to go out into the city centre. We had showers and everything and got ready, so we're just going to stay out the rest of the day now. So we're not going to go back and forth in between the city centre and our hotel. As our hotel is a bit outside the centre of Venice, it's about a 10 minute train ride away. But the train station is literally outside our hotel. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm really excited to explore Venice. So yeah, we're going to leave now. Right, so we got the metro into Venice and this is what it looks like as soon as you get out of the train station. With Venice, you pretty much have to just walk in a straight line through all the back streets and you're going to see all the pretty views. You're going to see the tourist attractions. You're pretty much going to see everything. It's all kind of a one strip. At least that's what we found when we were walking through. So yeah, we basically just explored for the whole day. We walked to this famous bridge, which is actually in the Spider-Man film. They say you have to get lost in Venice to find the best spots, so that's definitely what we ended up doing. We just wandered around and we ended up coming across these really magical moments, such as hearing the men on the gondolas singing traditional Venice music. This clip was definitely one of my favourite spots, it was so magical just sitting here and watching all the gondolas go past. And then we walked to St Mark's Square, which is what you can see here. Right, so it's now the next day, so I thought I'd just run through what we ended up doing yesterday evening after I didn't vlog anything else yesterday. And then we've made a plan for today, so I'm going to tell you guys that as well. Obviously you would have seen I didn't really talk through any of the clips yesterday, and I'm probably going to do the same today. I'm just going to like film clips for you guys because it's very busy, and then I'll voice over them explaining what we do. And, and obviously I do these rundowns and like briefs of the day anyways as well, so you kind of have an idea of what's going on anyways. So yeah, the last thing you would have seen was us in St Mark's Square at the cathedral. We just had a look around there, and then we actually went for dinner around there and then we got a boat back to the train station as we walked about 50 minutes the other direction so we ended up getting the boat back to the train station and then getting the train home as i said it's like a 10 minute train ride so really close so yeah that's all we ended up doing the rest of the evening so yeah i'm now going to run you guys through the plan for today so we woke up and had breakfast at the hotel and we're now going to get the train again into the center of venice to then get a boat to burano burano is a little island off of venice burano is known for its like sea glass and burano has got all the pretty houses and um, but yeah i'm really looking forward to that so we're going to go to that island today that's pretty much the whole plan for today and then we're going to come back to the hotel later and get ready to go out for dinner so yeah we're just about to leave now so again we took the metro into venice and then to get to murano we had to get a boat this was about 40 minutes long but we got to see some pretty sights along the way and it was really relaxing we then arrived in Murano, which is the island known for its sea glass. We originally wanted to go straight to Murano, but we couldn't end up doing this. We had to go to Murano, then get a boat from Murano to Murano. That's why we went here first. There wasn't as much to do in Murano, so we didn't stay too long, but we did end up getting some sea glass bracelets, which were really pretty. From there, we then got the boat to Burano, and this is where we spent most of our day. As you can see, the views were so pretty. There's so many different colorful houses. And yeah, it was a really nice spot just to take loads of photos and just have a wander around. about six o'clock so we got the boat back this was quite a long boat ride back because it was like double the time because we had to go from Murano to Murano then Murano back to the center of Venice but luckily we did get to stand outside on the way back so we got to see the pretty views rather than just sitting inside and yeah it was a really nice boat ride back because it was a really lovely evening
Right, so it's now our final day. First off, I'm just going to explain what we ended up doing for the evening last night. Obviously, you would have seen we got the boat back to the train station. We had to get two boats from Burano, and that took quite a bit of time because it's quite hard to like figure out how everything works. Um, but it was about maybe an hour trip back. But we did end up getting a really nice spot being able to stand and see the water, so that was really nice. And yeah, we got back to the train station for about maybe 7.30. And obviously, our plan was to stay out and eat dinner if it was a bit earlier, but because it was already quite late and we still had to get the train back to the hotel we decided to just get dinner in the area that we are staying in so yeah it was about nine o'clock before we actually went to the restaurant but the food was really good it was a really nice atmosphere so yeah it's our final full day because tomorrow we're leaving really early so we're going to really make the most of it today our plan for the day is that we're going to go into the center of venice now we're not going to go anywhere else we're going to stay there and then from there we're going to try and get a gondola which are the little boats that you can go on through the water and then after that we're just going to stay out for some dinner and then we need to head back because obviously we've got to get up early tomorrow so yeah that is the general plan for today so yeah we're gonna head out now this was us on our way to the center of venice for the last time we actually got a view of the water on the way there which is really nice and yeah these were the bracelets we ended up getting from murano we then did the same walk through the back streets of venice but we ended up stopping for a coffee on the way there which was really nice and much needed and it was very hot when we were there we then went on a gondola ride which is probably one of the highlights of the trip it was 80 euros for the both of us but i feel like it's one of the things that you've got to do when you come to venice and we actually got it to ourselves normally you have to share with two other people but we got it as a private ride which is really nice and then we could take all the photos and videos that we wanted We got taken through the open water which is what you can see here and then we also went through the back streets and like under the bridges. We then sat by the water for a bit and got some ice cream and just sat there whilst we ate it. And then we did a little bit of shopping, we ended up getting the pasta which you'll see in the next clip. And then the last thing we did before we headed back to our hotel was have a final dinner in Venice. We had an amazing spot right on the water and we had such a good meal. It was probably the best food we'd had whilst being there. And yeah, it was a really lovely evening and a great final day in Venice. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.